Hi everyone, hi everyone, I'm Cool Dice Makeup, and I'm going to do a wearable 1920s book before we get started. I did have a coffee this morning, and I decided to wear my hair up, and I hair fall, and I stuck in the bun, to make this short hair with a white thing off my hair, and I like this up, and a black hair fall, and I'm going to take this out. After I record this video and do the thumbnail, enough to chat with this side. This is my favorite time of makeup ever in the 1920s, a hundred years ago. Let's go first with the brows. To mimic the same brow shape. Well, let's just go with gluing them. Then I can't even do that. That's too dramatic. And that's for drag queens. I'm using the elf uh, well, comb and brush. I got a dollar tree just to flatten out my brows. Two minutes, six, six, six brows. In the 90s, they brought that back then. I'm going to take my regular brow products and I'm going to be right back. I refine both eyes off camera and use a shadow that is the same color as my skin tone to set so everything blends. Blend. I'm not going to use black because it's too dark. I'm using a gray eyeshadow in the crease. Just very lightly. I don't want it to be like a smoky eye. You know those rapper girls? Next one. Take a Q-tip or a blending brush. At least they use Q-tips and were invented before the 1920s. They didn't have actual makeup brushes. And then blend. And I believe that Vaseline was used also this time. It was invented in the 1800s. In 1870, and I used uh, an eye primer and also an ingredient for lashes. For the lip, I'm grabbing a uh, silver. Silver was also used on the eyes. I did some research before I started filming. Just go on the lid. I hope it doesn't get on my dress. Oh, great. And then with the powder that I'm going to set my face with, it's going to be so messy. Everything that I'll be using will be in the description below, main skin products only. Any silver eyeshadow will work for the lid, and any gray eyeshadow will work on the lid. I am using eyeliner. This time I'm using brown because brown is softer than black and black. Even though I do like black eyeliner, it's too dark. I'm gonna wear black mascara. I need an eye primer. I believe we didn't have any eye primers back then, but now, since we're in 2020, we do. And beyond. Whoa! I'm using a brown eyeliner pencil. As close to the last one as possible. I used coal pencils back then instead of liquid. I'm gonna be right back. I tried my best to get the eyeliner on. Any drugstore brown. So eyeliner will work. I have to like pull my eye tops to get the cleanest line ever. But it doesn't matter. Uh, curl your lashes to get some lift. The eyelash curler was invented in the 1920s, but it was like a bear trap. And it like, took 20 minutes, I'm not sure, for eyes. 
eye at it a long time, but now the case of his second for eye, which is amazing. This modern black pearl was invented in the 1920s. They did use small things, but it was for actresses. My favorite 1920s actress was Carabo. They had cake ma ma mascara back then. And now we have this type of museum that's next to the mascara. camera just shut off but now I'm back on in action for foundation I'm taking my favorite it's the new Whitney Matte Force I'm in the lighter shade one of two favorite porcelain I'm taking the key tip because I know it doesn't have to pump up in any but you can blur with the 1960s and beyond pale skin was popular and I believe I know that I do look pale already, but pale skin was popular. Instead of like my skin, which I believe is racist. But I'm lucky to be pale. There was no bronze, no tanner, there was blush. Foundation was popular. And I'm going to show you a natural way and what it is. And don't forget your neck. It's the neck is really important. I'm going to be right back blending this foundation out. For powder, women use a lot of powder. They powdered their faces in public. Well, a hundred years ago, women were seen applying makeup in public. But, but back then, that was a big no-no. I'm using the Cody. Airspun, I love this powder. It, fun fact, the container was invented in the 1920s, but the actual product was available in the 1930s. So powder your whole face completely, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I am back. My makeup is complete. Blending in that powder to make it more evenly. I put on a little bit of blush and my lips. It shows the main link baby of its maturity, so I gotta go. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank